if I didn't have Apollo, uh, how long would I go? Would it be about the same amount of time, or? The screening interval for a non-Apollo puts you into a category, now we're screening you for colorectal cancer risk. Mm -hmm. um, and you are not identified as an above average risk. Okay. I, I want to emphasize this. Now that you've had a polyp <clears throat> identified as a pre-malignant polyp, you're now in a category of having an above average risk for the development of a colorectal cancer. Hmm. So now we put you into a above average risk category, okay. you come back at five years. If the colonoscopy was negative, then you are in a average risk category and the interval is 10 years from the first colonoscopy. Okay. I didn't realize that with the polyp, that there's benign and then there's precancerous polyps. I didn't realize that I was in the category of the precancerous polyp. Yes, and that's, so now we use the first term, when we, when we did your initial colonoscopy, we did it because you'd had some GI symptoms, right. and we are also doing a colorectal cancer screening evaluation. Right. Subsequent now, for you, we say you're in a surveillance arm, meaning we're surveying you for future pre-malignant polyps. Great. Does that make sense? It does make sense. It does make sense. And I'm glad that, I mean, unfortunately, I had a polyp, but fortunately for um, all of our, you know, all the women who are going to see this, this is very helpful information. And if, when you hear the word precancerous, it's a little bit, you know, you're a little, it takes you back a little bit. But mm -hmm. as long as you're proactive about it, um, I think that's the, you know, that's the key. That is the key, um, and the um, people need to know that uh, colorectal cancer is a preventable disease. Right, and I think that's, that's the message. Right, and that was right. the biggest message with doing, doing the colonoscopy.